Hi, my name is Kyle Nicole Parker, and I'm going to bring you a special analysis for this week. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm your new psychic today. I'm Sarah Peters. I'll be bringing you your morning announcements. Hello, my name is Anthony, and today we are going to have a special announcement this week. Okay, everybody stand up to the flag. It says, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republics for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll start with the basics, an angel food cake, just light as air. Now, for the angel food cake, I start with eight egg whites. My eggs are at room temperature, and that is an important element when it comes to making anything with whipped egg whites because a room temperature egg white whips to a fuller volume than one right out of the fridge. I want to add a little cream of tartar, half a teaspoon. Cream of tartar is an acid, but in a powder form. It's quite concentrated. It's that acidity that actually allows the egg whites to stretch to a fuller volume. It gives them flexibility. Just a touch of salt, but the salt balances the sweetness. And I'll start by mixing this with the whip attachment. You can use electric beaters, but on a lower speed, just until it's foamy, while I get my half a cup of icing sugar sifted and ready to add. When you see that your egg whites are foamy and frothy and they're starting to lose that off-white color, then you know it's time to add your icing sugar. Now, what I'm looking for here is a medium peak, and that is when your egg whites just have a half curl when you lift the beaters. What that does, as a medium peak, it still allows room for those egg whites to expand, and the heat of the oven is going to do that. And now I need to sift the dry ingredients a full cup of cake and pastry flour, a cup of regular granulated sugar, in addition to that icing sugar I added. But sugar in a cake lends structure, and it makes the cake rise up really tall. I'll add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. It probably earns its name angel food cake because it is quite virtuous. No added fat. So the second sift, I'll do right over the bowl. Another reason angel food cake deserves its name is it is quite angelically simple. You've got these simple combination of ingredients, but it achieves that chiffon status in that airiness, that moisture. You never get a crumbly angel food cake. The whisk allows me to fold in the flour and sugar without tearing the beautiful air bubbles I worked into the angel food cake. The sugar is dissolving as I fold it. So it changes the consistency of the batter. Something characteristic of all chiffon cakes is the pan you bake it in. In this case, you use a tube pan. Now, the features to note are the straight sides and bottom. That way, the cake can climb and come out easily. You've got the hole in the middle. It allows the cake to bake evenly because the heat from the oven gets right through to the center. But also, some pans are built with little feet on the outside. This one has an elevated tube center because all chiffon cakes have to cool upside down to stretch those egg whites. So this allows the air to get underneath it. Another common characteristic about chiffon cakes you never grease the pan. And that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but you actually want the cake to stick to the sides of the pan. As it climbs and rises with the heat of the oven, it needs something to cling on to. I just spread it around the tube. Make it as level as you can right off the top. I've preheated the oven to 325 because that gentle heat slowly coaxes the egg whites up and gives time for the sugar and the flour to set. So it's a nice, fluffy, light, airy cake. And it takes about 30 to 35 minutes. All right. It's been just about 35 minutes. You check the doneness of any chiffon cake by just pressing the top. When it springs back, you know that it's fully cooked. You want to flip that cake upside down. See, this is why we did not grease the pan. <laughs> and you want to cool it upside down 
fully and completely in the pan. Then you take it out after the cake has cooled. And I have one that's cooled completely. So I use an offset spatula and I have to loosen it from the sides of the pan. So I just run the spatula straight down. And to loosen it from the inside tube, using a little bamboo skewer, just gives it a little space so that when I tap it out, it comes out easily. So this is the fun part. Now that's a beautiful angel food cake. I like to serve it with a little fresh cream and berries. And look at that beautiful, fluffy light interior. So with the simple technique, you really get a handle on the basics behind chiffon cake. Okay, so today well, we're is gonna a beautiful like Monday. Everybody hates Mondays, especially Garfield. And yesterday was Sunday, <laughs> and tomorrow will be Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. And today is the 10th. There you go. Today, the weather of October 10th, the weather is today will be sunny, high temperature of 69 Fahrenheit, low of 50 Fahrenheit, and chance of rain 9%. Okay, today, today's national day is National Angel Food Cake Day. I... It's on October 10th, and angel food is a light and fluffy cake with less fat and fewer calories than other types of cake. May I have some, uh, may I, hey, may I have some uh, angel food cake? So. The core of the, the, the week is not. To fall and not means to fall or express a negative. And this is not my lucky day because it's Monday. Lunch today will be hot honey sliders or pizza quesadilla, which I have no idea what that is. Mm. It's my birthday. Just kidding, it's not my birthday. <laughs> no other notes to report today. Except for just have a good day. We all, we all want you to be safe, responsible, responsible and, and respectful. I don't know, so we can have a good day. And if we don't, we might have a bad day. So, have a nice day, you guys. Bye. See ya. Have a, make sure you have a good day.